Hey guys, it's Jacob Grokey here and welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I do have my monthly subscription from Pop in a Box. So yeah, let's get into it. Okay guys, welcome back. So here is the box for my November monthly Pop in a Box subscription. So, as you can see, it's not a very big box, so I'm assuming we've just got three standard common, you know, not common, but standard four-inch pops like we did on the last Poppy Dog subscription, the one for October. But, um, yeah, hopefully they're just one for my collection again. So, if you guys don't know what the monthly Poppy Box subscription is, it's basically a service where you thumbs up and thumbs down pops that you want, and then obviously don't want for your collection. And then the Pop Box algorithm basically knows what they've sent you so that once you've thumbs up something, they can't actually, once they've sent that to you, you can't then get it again. So I obviously got the, uh, if you guys saw my last video, I got the Pride Deadpool. Even if I left it thumbs up on the website, uh, they wouldn't send that to me again because in their system, the algorithm they use, they know that they've sent that to me so they wouldn't send it to me again. So you don't have to ever have to worry about that. Usually I just put a little trophy on it just to make sure. On, on the website you have a collection tracker and it has I want, I don't want and then my collection. So then you can just keep an eye on what you basically might be sent. And uh, obviously you can thumbs up, you know, oversized pops, 10 inch pops, pop rides and things because you get a chance to be sent them which is really cool. And the main reason why I do this sub, it's sort of like a mystery box because you can actually get more but you're like always guaranteed something that you're gonna like uh, that is if you have enough stuff thumbs up obviously I've had a little bit of problems in the past but most of you guys I know collect a whole wide variety of things so yeah that shouldn't be a problem for you guys but anyway so yeah link in the description if you guys do want to um, check out the monthly subscription okay with that being said let's get into the box I did uh, <laughs> cut it earlier so let's just get this open right and now we should have three Pops just chilling, and yep, I fill them. I'll try, try and not show the <laughs> you guys what it is. The roots, the spoiler. And let's get into the first pop. I'm looking for Mandalorian, Marvel Zombies, Venomized, Deadpool, Halo, Liverpool Pops, and uh, yeah, I believe that's it. So uh, let's get into the first pop. It's probably going to be hopefully one from one of those lines, and it is. So we got Bo-Katan, really cool pop. Like I said in my last video. I'm, uh, I'm currently watching season two of The Mandalorian to uh, basically prepare for the Book of Bubba. So yeah, this is a really nice one to pull because uh, I just recently watched the episode with her in it. Uh, so yeah, very nice pop and I love the fact that they kept the her same voice actor for her character. And yeah, I just think that's a really cool touch from them uh, using the exact same character because she's clearly passionate about the role and really cool that she got to fulfill it as a live action performance. So yeah, I guess that's a nice bit of continuity from uh, the Star Wars world there. Uh, so yeah, Bo-Katan, a very, very cool character, so I'll, I'll open it up um, rather than just talking about it. Yeah, I'll open it up and show you guys the, the pop for it. There is a chase that I do need to get for it where it's it's her, but she's unmasked, which is really nice. Uh, I think I do usually prefer, you know, the the ones that are that have the mask on. So when there's, you know, the Spider-Man pops or Miles pops, I do usually prefer them with the mask. But in this case, I, I quite like both. I mean, she's quite a recognisable character without... The mask that's what I quite like whereas the Miles and Spider-Man ones they're just kind of in pop form if they're just a person it's quite boring whereas she actually has the you know the headband the head the headpiece and things so um, yeah both pops are really cool so I'd be looking to get the chase if I can uh, I was hoping to get it in the sub but I probably have to go out and find uh, the chase uh, separately probably so anyway that is the uh, first pop on the sub obviously a cracking start uh, one for my collection, I, at this point I don't complain, uh, as, as long as they're for my collection, I don't care about getting a 10 inch or a 6 inch or an oversized pop basically, so uh, just don't want any front lines pops, just want stuff for my collection. So let's get into the second pop, out of three, and what is it, and yes, so there's another one for my collection, and this is the Dark Trooper, it's a very cool uh, new droid that Moff Gideon started using. I just think these, these troopers are really cool. Uh, very like menacing, I think. But yeah, Dark Trooper, obviously when they uh, when they fly down and, and snatch Grogu, and when one of them actually nearly takes out Mando. Uh, I think, I'm, I can't go to that episode quite yet. I think that's the next one I'm watching when they 
uh, actually attack Mando. But um, yeah, I think they're quite powerful droids. Uh, usually you think droids are kind of a bit a bit rubbish, a bit like Stormtroopers, but these are really good. And uh, yeah, there's some really cool new droids in the Mandalorian, which I really like. Keeps it really fresh and exciting. And these droids are a really good uh, addition to the show. So that is bo and the Dark Trooper. And right, so we've got the third and final pop. And by the looks of it, it might be the, the Mandalorian theme. So uh, I do have my pop tracker up here. I'm actually not going to look. I was about to just scroll down and guess which one I think it is. Uh, but hopefully it's a cool one. Maybe it's Mando. Who knows? Right, let's have a look. Next pop we've got is, and it is, it's Mando and Grogu. So, uh, yeah, the Mandalorian with Grogu. So that's cool. I actually realised that they are now saying his name. Obviously on the sort of the first line of pops, they did say the child. And that's because Grogu was named in like the fourth episode, Grogu, when they went down to meet Ahsoka. She found out that uh, the child was named Grogu. So it's cool they started adding that to the boxes now. And it's kind of cool, usually what Funko do is they ruin things like that. So um, yeah, it's good that they actually didn't like print that on the first line of pops because I'm sure they, they might have known because they usually like make things in pre-production and stuff. So yeah, I'm glad that they kind of did say the child and they didn't say Grogu, but it's cool they've now corrected that with Grogu. But anyway, let's uh, let's take this pop out. I'm actually really excited to look, look at this one. I love, I just love all of the Mandalorian pops. Like even, I know they've redone a lot of them. Not redone, but they've redone a lot of the characters in different poses and things. Obviously, the Mandalorian's been done quite a few times now, and Grogu's been done a million times already. Uh, but yeah, I do like the fact that we now have one unmasked. So here he is, Pedro Pascal, as the Mandalorian there. Very cool pop. Holding that little little Grogu, so cute. But yeah, um. Me personally, I do kind of wish that they kept the face of real for, you know, probably like season three, four or five or something. Uh, I thought it was a bit soon to have it on season, like the last episode of season one, but I believe it was more so, or I think Pedro Pascal wanted, you know, the fame of being the Mandalorian and because uh, it's obviously quite, it's a role that obviously will get you a lot of money. So maybe he had this, some, something to do with that because I know there was a bit of conflict there where he was annoyed that his face wasn't being shown. So yeah, and I feel like they couldn't just show his face in random moments when people weren't about. So they kind of had to make it a big face reel. So I guess it makes sense to do them as a season finale. But um, but yeah, I kind of, as a fan of like the Star Wars world, I kind of would have rather it be more of a mystery uh, for the majority of the series. And then it'd be, you know, and then it'd be a, a big thing at a later date. And just, you know, build up the suspense a bit more. But anyway, yeah, these were the three pops we did get. They're all Mandalorian pops, so my Mandalorian collection's looking real nice now. So we do have the Mandalorian with Grogu, the Dark Trooper, and Bo-Katan. So they are the three pops we did get in this three pop monthly subscription. Very happy about that. Three pops straight in my Mandalorian collection. It's really growing now. I think I've probably got over half of the pops now. And by the time I probably get close to completing it, I'm sure they'll release 17,486 Grogu's. And then I'll just, you know, I'll contemplate whether it's uh, it's worth it at that point, but um, yeah. Uh, anyway, I'm enjoying collecting it now. I'm excited for the Book of Boba and the Book of Bubba. And yeah, I'm just excited. All things Star Wars, of season three of Mandalorian will be coming soon as well. So hyped for that. And uh, yeah, I think that's everything for today's video. Hopefully you guys did enjoy it. Don't forget to check out Mission Boxes. That I do so on my website at www.growgeek.com. And don't forget to leave a like, comment, and subscribe and the bell notification so you can get notified when my videos go live. And I'll catch you next one.